last week brought an unusual and intriguing gathering to Columbus. The Association of American Editorial Cartoonists was here for its annual convention, with about 80 talented artists discussing politics, the First Amendment, and other issues. And a few of them, including some Pulitzer Prize winners, teamed up with storytellers, animators, and comic makers at Cartoon Crossroads Columbus to show their stuff on a very public canvas, the sidewalk in front of the main branch of the Columbus Metropolitan Library. Videographer Dan Connick dropped by Chalk Slam to see their work. Cartooning in general, but political cartooning in particular, is a very ephemeral art. We, uh, most of us work for newspapers that uh, by the end of the week are end up on the recycling pile. And uh, so chalk is a natural medium for us. We can do cartoons on the sidewalk and just like the other cartoons, by the end of the week, they're kind of gone. Our job is, uh, there's many definitions for what makes a good political cartoon. So, uh, the classic one is uh, we should uh, afflict the comfortable and um, comfort the afflicted. Um, but mostly we're pointing out hypocrisy, we're giving uh, people in power a hard time. Uh, I'm drawing uh, about uh, freedom of speech, uh, trying to modeling the dictator or the king who control this speech and this the democracy in uh, the countries. You know, there's a reason that the First Amendment is the First Amendment. It's because freedom of speech, freedom of the press, expressing yourself is fundamentally important to a democracy. I mean, there are lots of people out there who are doing uh, political cartoons and they don't even know it. You know, younger people are doing these long form comics, you know, telling stories. Uh, and it's political, that's a political act. Uh, they may, they may not know that they're political cartoonists, but that's exactly what they're doing. It's that creative process, you know. People ask me all the time, where do you get your ideas? And I have no good answer for that, right? You just kind of lose yourself in thoughts and you go, oh, that would work. And then you start drawing and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. Our natural habitat, the daily newspaper, is, uh, is going away. So we're finding new habitats and places online and, and in social media where we can uh, survive. And I, we will, I think. The convention came as editorial cartoonists are being cut from newspapers, including three let go earlier this year by Gatehouse Media, which owns many Ohio newspapers, including the Columbus Dispatch and the Akron Beacon Journal. Those were described as revenue actions, but many people have suggested that in this divisive political climate, there's more to those moves than that.